Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Shapeless Skyrim, our questing, modding, and adventuring love letter to all things Skyrim. I'm Tori. I'm Tyler. Last time on Shapeless Skyrim, we did our user-recommended mo- Sorry. Last time on Shapeless Skyrim, we did our user-recommended mods sure did. for the week. We took all of your guys' comments, we have them in a long laundry list, and we're going to be going through them periodically, but today we just wanted to do some mods that we found on BethesdaNet, which, to reiterate once again, is the worst fucking website just terrible. on planet Earth. Please, for the love of God, Todd. Use all that, for the all love that of Fallout Todd. 76 money and just Because we know you're going to rake it in. So today we're just going to be going through some random mix-up of mods. There doesn't seem to be like a connection between any of them. It's just a mod mix-up They're fun, day. all right? We're just showcasing mods here. We got four on the docket. So Tyler, let's get right into it. I hope monsters come and eat you. <laughs> what? What? I've n what the? F Get over <laughs> here! Holy shit! Let them live. Let them cool down. T, cool down. All right. We got mods to showcase. What are you gonna do to him? No, I need scale other. Are you gonna make him a big boy? No, I'm gonna make him a little boy. A little boy wants to come up and make those comments. He's gonna be a little boy. My God. Oh god, I, I'll never be able to find him again. Nope, nope, and he is, he is speedy. But, <laughs> like, just the ratio of his, of his height to his speed, he's quick. There, there that's, that's reasonable. We'll find him again. Alright, Tyler, why don't you hop down to War Maidens and we will check out mod number one. Which, we don't know what it does, actually. The mod is called, Because Why Not? And the description gives you, uh, nothing. Nothing. Gives it you just absolutely tells you that there's nothing. a book here. We don't know what it does, so, uh... It just says, have some fun for a few minutes. Yeah, I guess let's see what's gonna happen. I'm scared. We should save the game. I did. Okay, well, here we go. Oh! Where are we? Um... Um... Are we... Is there, like, a giant tower that we're on right now? We're above the throat of the world. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, easily. Holy hell, what? What do, what do we do from here? Well, we can't die. That's true. I wish we had a follower up here. Where's Serana? Oh, God, so it's just like a it's just like a one texture platform. It's not like a tower. Yeah, or no, it's it's just up here. We can't really like do anything. What, what is that? <gasps> we can get a good view, which is kind of cool. That is pretty cool. Welcome to our Minecraft playthrough. Uh, Tyler, fuck Minecraft. Do we still have the summonable horses mod? Um, where is I think it's I just want to shout someone off the edge. I want why isn't there something that warps Feindall to us? I want to shoot Feindall off the edge. I don't think Can you not pull out weapons up here? Um, let me try conjuring something. Okay. Let's conjure a deer. I didn't even see your hand a stag. I didn't even see your hands. Oh, there we go. Oh, it it doesn't. Oh, it just dropped. Okay, okay. Well, I guess pick a side and jump, T. Oh, it almost jumped for me. Yep. Well, this is kind of what I've always wanted to do. Here we go. I guess I get to do it in Skyrim. Wow, this is going to be so immersive. Do a backflip. Hmm. Huh. Well, I thought we'd fall faster. Oh, we're oh, that's kind of cool, actually. Well, it's also because we can't. Oh God, it's Boris the Invincible. Oh, there's my stag. No, what? Wh who's the enemy? Oh, it's a big Jesus. fish. Uh, how? How do you fight a big fish in the water? Tori, this is probably a nightmare for you. Yeah, it's it's horrifying. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. We have unlimited. He oh, that's just me drowning. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing saves you from that. It always gets you in the end. Oh god, oh. that thing is huge. I don't like it. this is like a this is like a nightmare for me. Well, all right. That was because why not? I'll, I'll, I'll. Oh, oh, he's on land. Oh, Tyler, kill it, please, kill it, 
Tyler, would you please kill it for me? Hold on. Let's get Shrek out. Oh, thank you. Oh, I don't. I. Uh, mm. Mm. Oh, he's just got scales. Well, that was Whoa. a thing. That was a mod that we showed off. Tyler, do you think we should maybe just maybe dip to black and go to mod number two? That seems reasonable. All right. Who's this shady character? He's a traveler. I don't converse with my prey. Oh. Yeah, well, let's give you a new name then. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Uh, maybe something with a... Something e, e names tend to suck. F. Hmm. You're going to be... Uh, Florence. Oh, God, he did not like that. I wouldn't like it either. To be honest, I would probably turn and kill someone if they decided to name me Florence. He died very stiffly. Well, Rigor Mortis set in <laughs> super quick. Immediately. So, Tyler, for mod number two, I don't know if you remember. It was just but a few mo moments ago. Um, I was talking to, like, Lars Battleborn. Yeah, you made you made a tiny boy. <laughs> and now, with mod number two, well, actually, we'll save it. Let's just, for well, now, let's, let's go let's, find let's Lars Battleborn. Let's find that Battleborn. little boy. Hey, do you know where that kid you bully relentlessly nope, is? That's that. She's she's a good a good person. She helps her mom at the stall. I'd help her mom. You know what I'm saying? Like she helps her mom shit in a <laughs> stall. Wow, Tyler, that might have been one of your top tier jokes. Thank you. Where are you, little boy? Where are you, little boy? Come on, don't you want to quest mod and adventure with us? <laughs> Let's get right into it. And let's get right into you. This Halloween, the creators Experience of it and Shapeless Gaming experience something critics call illegal in the United States. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, where's that little boy? Critics call it nightmarish. Seriously, this gave me nightmares. Seriously, how are they not under arrest? I'm starting to think we shouldn't have shrunk that little boy. Honey, you shouldn't have shrunk the kids. <laughs> the sequel, the long-anticipated sequel. Rick Moranis makes his debut back into Hollywood with, Honey, I probably shouldn't have shrunk the kids, but I've made up for it because, Honey, I cucked the kids. <laughs> this summer. Critics say it's the longest title in cinema history. <laughs> critics I'm say it's the longest God. cucking they've ever sat through. And everyone knows all critics are cucks. At a whopping runtime of 17 and a half hours. There are no cuts. <laughs> Theaters say it's not worth the money to bring it in. <laughs> there are no cuts, only cucks. Just come out of the house, little boy. Well, I think he's out somewhere. He's out. <laughs> the juice is loose. <laughs> <laughs> Just shoot. <laughs> you see a little dust trail behind him. Meep, meep. Hey, you seen a little boy around here? Oh, he can levitate too. Oh, you think you think you're better than me? I can levitate higher. Ha ha. You old fuck. Uh oh. What's up, bro? Uh oh. If you place the camera just right. <laughs> There's some shade. Oh my god, Tyler, go go and levitate between his arms. <laughs> Facing him, of course. We might be able to make this. We, we might be able to make my dreams. Re <laughs> <laughs> He's like hoisting us. Oh no! Damn it! Um, oh, you mean my vape sauce? Yeah, dude, your vape sauce. It smells like popcorn. Thanks. It's bu it's actually just butter. <laughs> I just <laughs> melt. I didn't have any vape <laughs> sauce, so I just melted some butter into the tank. I'll be honest, vape's pretty smooth. Oh, it fucking rips. What'd you do for nicotine? Oh, I just like dropped crumbled a, a cigarette in there. <laughs> ah. I'm hoping that it like just kind of absorbs from the tobacco leaves. I keep getting debris in my mouth. I keep getting you, me, and Dupree in my mouth. <laughs> okay, Serana, let's split up. Okay, if you just wait till morning, he comes out in the morning. <laughs> Little boys only come out in the mornings. <laughs> it's the natural order of things. <laughs> It's as Mother Nature intended it to be. I knew it wouldn't last forever, <laughs> but boy, did I have fun while it was up. Jared Fogel stated. Ser we should probably put out an Amber Alert on this little boy. There's a child. Okay, any child will do at this point. Hey, 
Okay, mod number two. It's called Adopt Almost Any Child, and it allows you to adopt almost any child. Mila? Her mom? Making her work long days at the vegetable stand? Not anymore. Not gonna fly. Now she's gonna join a child army, a la Coney style, when she joins our ranks. Nope, I don't know if you should say that, but, uh, you Do know you what? Look at her, she's desperate. She's like, please, my mom hits me. We have a house in Falkreath. You know what? Forget all of the actual orphans, the people who have lost their parents to the war. We just want to steal kids from a, from loving families. Yeah. Yeah. I've got a house in Falkreath. She needs to have a father figure wow. in her life, you know? Are you... Are you sure? Oh, I wouldn't you mind. You really wouldn't mind? Please. Yes, I'm sure. Daughter. Oh my god. That just sounds creepy. Thanks, Mr. Papa. Call me daddy, please. Oh, how do you be the best daughter? How do you- I just stole a child. Yeah, she's yours now. That and child is yours. Let's- Let's make her more intimidating for the child army. Oh, absolutely. We don't want- Oh, holy hell. We want there. big kids. And that's the other thing, is now she's all grown up. And she really wants exactly. to shout it out. Now she's all grown up, so it's it's technically not, you know, unethical to put her in a war. I was going to say we don't have to pay for all of her groceries and stuff anymore. Plus, she knows someone who runs a pretty good vegetable stand, so. Think we can make dead bodies big? Yep, I sure do. Nice. How cool. How Quaint. swell that we can just take children. Pretty good stuff. All right, well, uh, I it makes Skyrim more immersive if you want to be like the Hamburglar, but for kids. Yep, that's that's what this mod does. You're now the Hamburglar, but for kids. I just want Jan to be wearing like a striped jail suit <laughs> with like a big rucksack, yeah. but not of hamburgers. You just see like arms and stuff, like kind of <laughs> like pushing around in there. And it just looks just like, like the big. <laughs> it just looks like the big like sack from Fallout. The, the end of Inside. Oh, I was gonna say meat sacks from Fallout. Ugh. That's, hey, we'll never lose our daughter now. Yeah, not like the little boy that we lost. How did we lose a little boy? I don't know. Someone should really find that little boy, though. <laughs> Seriously, is anyone worried about this little boy? I don't think anyone's worried about this little boy. Mr. She's an actual Mr. orphan. Mr. Forget her. Ugh. She doesn't even know where to sit. She's just squatting next to a bench. Maybe she's shitting because she doesn't have a house <laughs> because she's an actual orphan. But we want to steal kids. Like your mom? <laughs> <laughs> Say goodbye to your mom, honey. Make it snappy. We gotta go. Come on, let's go. Come on, chop, 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 chop. You, you, you any good so with a yeah. sword? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, can we give her, like, a weapon? I don't- well, maybe a wooden sword. Do we have a wooden sword? Maybe. Can we get a wooden sword? I need to get my things and say it would be big in her hands. I know. I yes. don't think how I said that. <laughs> Wait, is that the little boy? Do I see the little boy? Oh my god, no. Oh, it's the little boy! Hey, having trouble? Yes. Brave bullies you? Well, why don't you? I'll be your there she is! It's no fun getting you know, I could adopt you if you're really? being bullied. You, you should use that I anger. Do. It's much smaller than the giant house you oh, currently hey. live in in the rich part of town, Are but... At least you, know, you didn't I have a loving family. family. I would steal you from the royal family that gives you everything you could ever need. Yes, I'm son. sure, son. Well, and I'll make sure that Braith can never bully you again. Tyler, you got that spell ready? You can crush her now. Squash her with your little moccasins. <laughs> make mincemeat out of her. Might. All right. Well, I think we got a nice pair of children. That's a good pair of kids. We got a big old pair. Oh, he's like, ha ha. <laughs> he's like, do you want to bully me now? Look how dirty his pants are. Oh my god, she's still bullying him. He is a pussy. Dude, you can just stop her. Well, we got a good set of kids now. A good big old set of kids. <laughs> my kids are huge. <laughs> Honey, I blew up the kids. And I think we should, uh, In a car bomb. Uh, swiftly move on from that into mod number three. So we find ourselves here at the Sleeping Giant Inn for mod number three because it's, it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be a good one. We don't really know yet. If you walk on over into Delphine's room, looks like a normal room, right? Oh, but you crouch down. There's a button, a secret button. 
And that button is going to activate disrobe. Shart. Shout. <laughs> shart. Shart. Shout clothing and armor off. Basically, you get to yell and people's clothes fall off. We're hoping. Where did it go? Oh, disrobe. We're hoping this is going to be the sequel to Skyrim 69 and we're going to see some bodacious chest. Or ass. Serana. Hey, Serana, can we shout at you real quick? <laughs> Tyler, it, it, it works just like works. it works like a porno would. My God! Hey, see? <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like a cartoon dust storm that goes by. It's like such a cartoon scene where like someone like runs past <laughs> and then it's so fast that like all the clothes go off. Like that scene in SpongeBob, <laughs> <laughs> where like he's suddenly in like a uh, baby outfit. Look, you got to blow the other guy's armor off too because then. It just shows that we're all brothers and sisters when you take <laughs> just, off the armor. It just flies! And uh, it's so perfect! It works so perfectly! This is amazing. Serana, you've never looked better. Okay. And that's about- Oh, I was really hoping it'd have a second level. <sighs> level 2. Fight. Hey man. Nice bar you got how casual here. this is gonna look. What was that? <laughs> They don't even change. What this is amazing. That? Tyler, I will not rest until you blow the clothes off everyone in this goddamn city. <laughs> I'm gonna blow this town. The entire town. I'm gonna blow them all. Blow that old lady first. Well, maybe she's we should Keeping it tight. Well, look at her. She, she's pretty wrinkly. We should not have done that. How you doing, Hod? Lod? Hod. Hod. Lod. Ooh, Does it work on guards? That's the real test. I don't know. Test. How's this gonna go? Whoa! That's awesome! Holy shit! Wait, snipe that dude up on the top. Got him. Damn, it's got some range too. This is amazing. I didn't even know the guards had like. Ooh, get 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 that guy. Just see if he keeps hammering. <laughs> this is so fucking good. Uh, uh, well, oh. go. Thank God. Thank God. Good job. How you doing, pal? Well, it blasted a cabbage out of his asshole. <laughs> he was just wearing a cabbage. He just covers himself with the leaves. I don't think. What if it just <laughs> de like deferred them? It just, just made him like a very skins blank them. Ugh, ugh. There's a pelt lying next to them, like Red Dead style. Oh God, that's uh, so unsettling. I, I can't believe this works. This is amazing. We can just blow everyone's clothes off, and it's so easy. So easy, what's a the, caveman could do it, huh? What's the distance, you think? I think we could get her. Nope, not quite. I think it's just because it hit the bottom of this. Could've been that. Yep, we got her. Nice. Very good, very good. There's your first boner, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, no! <laughs> I feel like we. This need is to, questionable. I feel like we should re reinst reinstate Serana as our hot fucking girlfriend. Yeah, this deserves it. Now she's, she's keeping it tight. She. Yep. I lost all words there because I was distracted by Serana's hot bod. You know, she's she's got a hot bod. Well, this is amazing. Man, lots of fun to be had. Jared, I'm sure you can you can find some fun stuff to do with. I'm this. sure this will be one that makes uh, appearances in in later episodes. Someone's being a dick, just blow their clothes off. I'll blow the clothes right off them. Just give them such a good blow that it just they just fly off. Some of the best blowing ever done. Tyler. That was... I mean, I think that's everyone in the town. Should, Wait. Should we... Uh, we, gotta blow uh, the, we gotta blow the shopkeep to get good deals. How you doing, pal? Damn. What was that? You got a pretty muscular back, fella. I like your hair, Serana. You have such a cute nose. I think I'm falling for her again. I, I wonder what did it. <laughs> we respect women. Yeah. We're famous. I wonder if it works on dead bodies. There's only one way to check. We need to kill someone. No. We didn't kill. We need to find someone who's already dead. It only works, see, so it only works on humans. God 
fucking. Damn well, just it. get, just run, just, just get out of here. Just <laughs> beat it, kiddo. Let's get out of this town. It's lame anyway. The fucking dragons. Fandal, all, already in anticipation, already naked. He already cut his calves off as well. Well, oh, his calves are back. You blew his calves onto him. Yeah. Damn. I told you, I'm the best blower this side of the Mississippi. This mod works in mysterious ways. I'm the best blower this side of High Hrothgar. <laughs> You're shitting me. No, just keep going. Just keep going. Don't kill it. Just keep going. Are you fucking with me right now? Okay, it's... Oh, you ass. You big fat ass. That guy's like, oh, fuck a bear. Oh, fuck a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> He's having a bad day. Uh, blow his robes off. Disrobe him. Let me do you the honor. Whoa. I'm sorry. Now you're an appropriate <laughs> swimming attire. <laughs> See, he wasn't, he didn't know. I, I saved his clothes from getting wet. Exactly. His robe's never been drier. Oh god. That was unnecessarily brutal. That was the humane way. I disrobed him. <laughs> you sure did. Blew his head straight off. <laughs> Blew his mind, if you know what I mean. Dude, that was a good one. Ah. Ah. Just go inside the goddamn. That's what I'm doing. Whoa! <laughs> Defend us, big child. <laughs> You've joined the army. Now fight for your king. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, Now, so the one place where I know there's a static dead body. Let's see if, uh, we can, you know, disrobe a dead body. No. Cannot disrobe a dead body because this mod respects people. It respects women. It respects you, it, it respects them so much that you cannot commit necrophilia. Yep. Well, I mean, you could, you just can't, like, the mod doesn't assist you. You think you can disrobe mannequins? No, but it'd be kind of cool to find out. Put some shit on that mannequin. Yeah. No, but it looks good still. Still a very, very cool mod, and it's a lot of fun. But Tyler, we can't be disrobing people all day. We got one more mod to look at. Get out of the- What? No! 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 There, there we go. go. I don't like that, that we just did that simultaneously. We respect women. So, Serana. <laughs> we've- w I, You're really teetering on this love-hate relationship right now. I mean, when you were- when you were in the nude, fell in love with you. You know, I, <clears throat> I just saw all of you, and, and I- I liked it. Oh, well. Okay, you shouted her head back on, now shout her clothes right off. There <laughs> Holy hell. What is happening? You know what? I like my girlfriend better this way, you know, there's no mouth to yap, yap, yap. We, yap. we do respect women. I'm really, really sorry about everything. Uh, anyway, here, let's go to mod number four. Tyler, you're going the exact wrong way. You couldn't have been wronger. Let's <laughs> get... Tyler, why don't you head down this dock to the giant boat that wasn't there before? We're at the Solitude docks, if you didn't get that. Uh, Solitude is for those of you who... <laughs> <laughs> We're at the Solitude docks, and if you go right onto this boat, you'll find mod number four, which is Summer Pearl Cove. Tyler, hop in that door, and let's explore. Well, I'd have to open the door. I can't just hop into it. I'd hit myself. No, run into it really quickly. Whoa. This is beautiful already. Apparently, this is from Elder Scrolls Online. Well, I mean, it's from Elder Scrolls lore. Uh, but, I mean, I'm pretty sure, like, the, mo the mod wasn't... So, this is somewhere in the Somerset Isles, and the mod creator was inspired by their love for the expansion... The Somerset expansion for ESO, and uh, they decided that they wanted to make some Somerset wow, Isle... Wow, that blue lighting is so good. It looks... It looks gorgeous, and it does wow. look very different from Skyrim, doesn't this, it? Yeah, it looks just like Minecraft. Yeah, okay, I'll give you that one on on those bricks. No, there, but like but the other, rest of it looks incredible. The rest of it does genuinely look incredible, and like this tattered roof thing. I don't even know what that's from. I want to say Solstein, maybe, but what? It, look at the coral reef thing. Tyler, is this the time? It's always the time. God, I really hope. We've been recording Bunny for Ninja. over an hour, Tyler. I really hope Bunny Ninja comes through with that mod where I'm just a chef. And I'm just drinking beer. But, uh... 
I'm I'm off Holy the sauce. Shit. I know. don't think I don't think there's any enemies here. I think I think this no, this is a functions retreat. as like yes, like a place to lounge and kind of live like a fucking Greek god. Yeah. So the description says, "Who owns the ship? We don't know. Who owns the place? Maybe you." So it is just like a little sanctuary for you to get away, and it's just beautiful and tropical. And looks like feels, the Night King. It feels sort of like it does look like the Night King. Because I don't want to say it's not ethereal, but it's <clears throat> it's just peaceful. It's peaceful. It's and super nice. peaceful, and the blue lighting is it's gorgeous. I really want to see this at night. Yeah, and there's like a there's like a little place to explore behind you. Well, like. Tori, get us a thumbnail here, man. Put those widescreen bars. Hold on. Oh, are you gonna do you gonna do a little dolly shot? You gonna move, you gonna push in on that? Give me give me some widescreen bars. Nice little slow movement. Look at that. That's what I call an establishing shot, T. Damn. This is I like this place. Let's check out that little what's what's behind you here? What's in this building? Whoa. Okay, okay so all of your amenities. I love I love the style of this place. Wow, like it, it five thousand gold. It feels so peaceful. We're and, rich, and but cool. I'll take it. Everything's placed well. The shelves kind of built into the the wall there. A book that's held open. It's a crystal of the tower. Hmm. That's a lot of reading. Is this I a real book do. or is that added? I think that was added. I think that's a real book. I'm not sure though. Very cool. I don't think you can read those. Just props. I'm fine with that. I love. I love when the cupboards have uh, glass and like glass paneling on them. Okay, so yeah, all of your amenities here. Everything you'd need in this beautiful getaway. You got your own private. I love the Whoa. stonework. This is beautiful, man. Look the at the mannequins that in a is case. So cool. That is really cool. God, this is amazing. And the modder, like even in the description, I think wrote like, "If you don't like it, I don't want your criticism." Yeah, but and who I can, wouldn't like this. Who would not like? How would you not enjoy this? And plus, the perfect like that is sun coming thingy. in with like the fog. The, Where oh, was this? Dude, I oh, it's rug standing up to make genius. to make it look like a genius. I love when modders put in that creativity to like, okay, I want it to look like this. How can I use these tools at my disposal to kind of make look, something that should have, be? You have your armor sets that you can store here. That's so cool. Let's see what's in this chest. You can get some good gold here too. Ah, this is uh, your okay. kind of shelf. This has moved its way up to being in my top five favorite mods we've ever shown. Wow, I just, really? It's giving me such a, like, I love the feeling that you have here. It's it's just such a peaceful and, and like, okay, bright, so happy place. It really is. This looks fantastic. Tor, give me those widescreen bars again. I want to say hats off to the original doll for this mod. Like, so good. So good. Tell her you, uh, you a cinematographer in training? Yeah. Well, not in training. I went to private art school. Yeah, for, for music, though. Yeah, but it's private art school, so it's really all of the arts. It's art. It's all-encompassing. Is it? Yes. Okay. okay. God, I want to... Okay. Let's go Let's up go over, over there. here. Yep. Where those... The original blue lights were. The original blue lights this summer. Okay. Let's do another dolly shot. Get those widescreen bars ready. Okay. They're ready. Let's get some movement in there. This would be like a trailer shot. Hey, the original doll, do you want us to make a trailer for your mod that you can put? Oh, this is like an Assassin's Creed trailer right there. With the eagle? Yep. Oh! That would have been cut off by the widescreen bar, though. This is just a scenic place to be. Boom. I am a massive fan of this mod. It's so simple. I just want it to be a cool place to be. Oh, That's whoa. what matters. I activated something. Uh-oh. Okay, let's you see took this. away Serana's face. Let's see this at night. Okay. Serana, get over here. And... No, I want to set up the shot first. Well, Tay, cut the, cut the boodle-a-doos then. Got it. Wait over there. God damn it. Okay. Day. 
Wait. Day. All right. Night. And it looks this incredible. It looks so good. This looks like ancient, like Greek. Yeah. It. It. it yeah. It kind of does. It is giving me that vibe a little bit. Maybe that's why I like it so much. God, this is fucking incredible. I love this blue hue. If I haven't mentioned it enough. Amazing work. Is there? I, I was not. I. I like. I didn't know what to expect from this? this. Yeah. No, I wasn't. And this. Let's go see what's in uh, one of those great. like the, like the ships that's kind of crashed out right on right on the shore there. I don't know if we can get to it with this strong current. Eh, oh. Not even an issue. Oh, it's kind of crashing over the boat a little bit, as much as Skyrim can. <laughs> as so much I don't, as yeah, I didn't know it's if there doing was. Its best. I don't know if there's anything on here, but I feel like there's. I think there's little nooks and crannies to explore in this I, place, and it, in either way, it's just a cool, like, player home, like a getaway home, or a place that you can just store your stuff and feel like, this is my sanctuary. And your boat's over there, too. Yep. Wow. This is amazing. Let's cut it. Incredible Let's. work. Let's call it an episode, T. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Shapeless Skyrim. If you have any mods you'd like to suggest, any changes you want to see made to the show, or you just want to say hello, you can do that on Twitter. I will be at Lurking Lion. I will be at Subtly Cool, or you can contact everyone at Shapeless Gaming. Yes, thank you so much for watching. Again, we liked doing that recommended mod episode. Yes, yeah, so keep so sending them. If you have any recommendations, please send them our way. And if we've already shown it off, we will direct you to that episode then so you know we've done a lot we've done a lot yeah we've done over 100 episodes so it's we have like probably i'd say like 400 mods that we've shown off yeah i would say at least 400 yeah so maybe we've done it maybe we haven't if we haven't we'd be super excited to find those really good gems like this one yep so thank you for watching and stay tuned every tuesday for more shapeless skyrim we'll see you next time Now let's do some kids.